Hi everyone, happy December, happy Meza Kreza. It's Christmas time and it's time to go and see what is new in Primark for December 2023. I'm expecting Grinch. I'm expecting Christmas jumpers. I'm expecting glitter, glam, festive party galore. Is that a little bit of me? No, it's not. So I'm hoping we're gonna have some cute knitwear in there as well. Some cute accessories. Maybe some little gift sets. I love seeing the little Primark um, little gifts because they have had some really, really good ones in the past years. So hopefully this year will be a good one as well. So let's go shopping to Primark together. Hopefully I don't get told off today because I have had that happen in the past. If we suddenly changed our voiceover, then you know what's happened, but we're manifesting good vibes. We're gonna go see what's new in Primark. I think I've said everything I need to say. Let's not repeat myself anymore. Let's go. We're in. We're starting off in the coat section. A lot of them all seem to be reduced, which is really good. Thing is, like, I feel like coat season has only just properly started with it getting cold. So I'm surprised they've reduced them already. Oh my god, is this the? Oh my god, it is. This is the Zara Molly May leather jacket dupe. I got this last year. It was so popular and it sold out so quickly that I had to get it in an extra large. But they've come back out with it this year. I absolutely love this jacket. I wear it all the time. It's a really nice, like, faded leather. And it's like the Molly May one from Zara. It's £36, which is quite pricey for Primark, but it's still cheaper than the Zara one. I quite like this one, this fluffy beige coat, £45. I don't love the button. I wish they were like not as noticeable and like less standout-ish, but I absolutely love the colour. It's like a full length line fluffy coat. It is so soft as well. I also love this one. Really nice camel one, £32. This one's slightly shorter, but the buttons are a little bit more subtle on that. I actually kind of love that. Let's take that to a mirror and have a look at it because I'm kind of tempted. This is it in an extra large and I'm just thinking with little like Ugg boots and a fluffy hat, this could look so cute. Like for a Christmas market, you'd be so cosy and warm. I could still have my bare legs, which we all know I love even in the depths of winter. And this with like a little fluffy hat or a fluffy bag. That would look so cute. I might have to get her. This is the coat on. It doesn't really work my outfit, but then you can see what I mean. Like with the Uggs, it works really well with this colour of Uggs. And it's so cute. This is the extra large because it's the only size they've got, which I don't know if it's too big, but I quite like the oversized. Let me just turn you... I'm going to turn your portrait just one second so you can see it a bit better. Do you see what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like cosy coat wear with bare legs and Uggs, chunky socks, maybe a fluffy hat. It's kind of cute vibes, so... I'm kind of tempted. They also have this coat, which I'm pretty sure is the one that Molly May got that is like a dupe of the Max Mara one that she has. They actually have quite a lot of sizes in stock, which I'm quite surprised about because I thought this was going to sell out. But it's just like a Teddy Borg long line coat. And it's £40, which is kind of pricey. But then again, if you got this from Zara, you're talking like £100. Or if you got the Max Mara one that Molly got, I think that was like two to four grand, I want to say. It was in the thousands. So I suppose in comparison, this is actually quite a good price. Oh my God, look at this. All these cropped puffer coats have been reduced to £16 of 24 and they have so many sizes and so many colors this one's really nice actually they've called it dark blue which i would agree with but they literally have so many colors i quite like it i mean it's not the thickest coat in the world but for 16 pound what does it say it features lining and padding and it's shower resistant for 16 pound that is so good and the fact they have it in so many colors as well is amazing oh i love these this looks like a duvet look at how comfy these coats look these are giving soccer mum on a saturday morning going to take her seven year old boy or girl to go and play football and you don't want to be cold so you're gonna wear this little headband have a hot chocolate in hand so cute i love the navy as well it's looking really bright on camera but it's not as bright in person. It's such a nice colour. It doesn't have a price on it though on that one. Let's see. They also have a green, which is really nice. And it's saying it's... Why is it okay? There's no price. I don't know how much they are, but they're a lovely coat nonetheless. <laughs> this is all the party stuff I was expecting. This is um, from the Rita Ora collection. Like some diamond rhinestone jeans for £30. They're quite nice because I thought like you could wear them a little bit more, like not just for Christmas. It's giving a lot of black. It's kind of giving New Year's vibes rather than like Christmassy vibes. This I feel like is going to be so itchy. It kind of is. It's not too bad, actually. It's £20. It's not as bad as I thought, but I feel like after a while, that is going to be the world's most uncomfortable thing ever. I do quite like this, but it is also giving Macklemore thrift shop kind of vibes, and it's £60 for Primark, which is kind of crazy. I love how it looks, but, like, it, I feel like it's been made a little bit cheaply. Like, it's a little bit thin. It doesn't feel the best quality. And for £60, I do feel like that's slightly criminal for Primark. I'll be honest with you, Rita. I'm not really feeling this new collection. It's not a little bit me. The only thing I do quite like, though, is this bag. Just a nice black classic bag. We'll go with a lot of things. And it is £10. Does it have a long strap inside? Um, 
No, I don't think it does actually, which is a little bit annoying, but it'd be like one of those ones that would fit quite well under your shoulder. Oh my God, the fleeces. Look at the fleeces. I love this one, 20 pound. These for like a nice autumnal, no, it's not really autumn anymore, is it? But like a Boxing Day dog walk or something. They have so many colors. This is just a simple black one for 18 pound. But these are just perfect for this time of year to just chuck on, be cozy, Christmas day, Boxing Day walk, New Year's day walk, all the walks, all the dog walks, so cute. You also have a little gilet for 12 pound as well, but I just never know how you'd wear them. Like, how am I meant to style that? This is quite a cute jumper, 15 pound, just like a beige and cream stripe, really soft actually, not itchy or scratchy, and it's kind of got that sort of like baggy feel to it, so you know it's gonna like hang nicely and sit really well. This section is the Primark edit section, which is one of my favorite sections because the quality is so good. Like, these tops are so simple and basic, but they're so much thicker and nicer than the normal Primark tops. So it's a really good place to get your basics. They're kind of a bit like Zara quality, I'd say. These are 12 pounds. So again, a bit like Zara prices, but they fit really nicely. Like I've got a t-shirt from here that is so nice. And this one's 100% cotton. I quite like this little um, long black cardigan dress thing as well. This coat as well, I really liked when I last came in, but it's £60 again. Like, I'm sorry Primark, who do you think you are charging £60 for a coat? That is not acceptable. In this day and age, we will not be accepting that, okay? However, I do quite like this. Let's see how much it is before we get our hopes up. £40, okay, still kind of expensive Primark. I don't love the quilting detail on the inside, but the fit of this, like a boxy cropped leather jacket, looks so nice. It does feel a little bit, it feels soft and stuff, but it's a little bit cheap feeling. But the shape of it, I feel like that would fit so nicely. I thought I'd bring it to a mirror because you might be able to see the shape a little bit better. I can't try it on because it's not going to work with this jumper I'm wearing, but do you see what I mean? Like a nice boxy crop little fit. This bit of lapel isn't sticking down properly. It should look a little something like that. I feel like that would actually look quite nice, although I do feel like £40 for it. It's like not the thickest material. I do feel like £40 is quite expensive, but I like the idea, like the concept of the shape and everything. I've just seen this, which is actually the jacket on the model, and it doesn't look as nice on as I thought. I thought it was going to be a little bit more like boxy and baggy, but I don't know. It's just not giving what I thought it was giving. Like looking at it on there, not a fan. This is quite cute. This little like grey knitted vest. I have no idea how I would wear it because I wouldn't want to wear it like that, like over a top, although that is an option. I'd kind of want to wear it just like on its own, but I suppose that's a little bit more springtime of like some white tailored wide leg flowy trousers i think that would look so cute but it's bulgatic outside it is not the time of year for that unless we're layering it and that is just not a bit of me i'm in the beauty section and i was hoping there was going to be loads of like new in beauty dupes you know like the ones like primark come up with because i absolutely love them they literally have nothing new but they've got everything reduced and i don't get why like this is a foundation i'm wearing today i wear it most days and i absolutely love it it's a dupe of the nars radiant foundation and they've reduced it to three pound fifty instead of six pound and they also had another primark that i went to today so it's not just this primark and and then even like these Charlotte Tilbury cream blush dupes, like these sticks, they're £2.50 instead of £4.50. They've also got the contour and then the Charlotte Tilbury filter to finish thingy, that's been reduced as well. So I don't know whether they're discontinuing them all, which I really hope they're not because I literally love all of those makeup products or whether they've just got them on sale. I really don't know, but run, don't walk to Primark to get these. This, the foundation... These I haven't tried to be fair, but that and the foundation is so good. And now's the best time to get them whilst they're reduced. Like, I'm tempted to get this and one of these just to try them because whilst they're like half price, that's like the best time to do it. Also, whilst we're on the topic of Primark makeup, these I absolutely love, these Primark um, foundation sticks. I use them for contour. I normally use the shade Chai, which I don't think they've got here, but these are so creamy and so good for contour. Like they blend out so well. I've also just seen this little Trigwell Cosmetics dupe, £1.50. For a nice big little makeup extension. Also, these mirrors, so random. Hello, but these are so handy for traveling. I always take one with me on holiday. They pack so well because this little stand thing like folds down, and then you can like pack them in your suitcase like amongst your clothes. Let me just move that strap out of the way, and then you can like set it up like that. And one side's more um, zoomed in than the other. These are so handy for traveling. They're four pound, but. I swear by this. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. All like the little Christmas presents and little like stocking stuffers. Why is this already reduced? These are only five pounds instead of nine pound. Little Hershey's cookies and cream travel mug. Why is it already reduced? I'm confused. These are so nice. Look at these glasses and stirrer set. It says cheers on it. How nice for just like some Christmas drinks or something. These are ten pound. I just feel like if someone invited you around for like Christmas Eve drinks or something, rather than bringing like a bottle of wine or a box of chocolates like you normally would. That would be such a nice alternative. They also have a cocktail shaker and a little margarita. Oh my god. Margarita serving set and then you can put the salt in there. 
to rim the glasses. That is genius. Oh my God, I love this. I actually love this avocado dip set. I'm obsessed with this serving dish. That is the coolest thing ever. I'm not even the biggest lover of avocado, but I want this just for that dish. And then it comes with a plastic and stainless steel avocado slicer. Oh my God, who can I buy this for? It's only 10 pounds and I literally am obsessed with that dish. Like you could make like little guacamole and then put nachos around the side. I love that. Why do I want that so much when I don't even like avocado? This is so cute for nine pound. It's like a little, oh my God, it's a big mug and a little mug. Oh, that's even cuter. I thought it was like a mug and a lid, but you've got like a mug for you and then a mug for your little baby or something. And it's got hot chocolate and marshmallow mix. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with that. That is so cute. I feel like I need these. Three pound 50 Grinch claw grips. I wear my hair in these all the time when I'm at home. And I feel like this would just make me feel more Christmassy. Like any chance I can to inject Christmas into my life, I will do. And these are perfect. I'm expecting this to be wrapped underneath my Christmas tree with my name on it this year. <laughs> Josh, if this isn't in my stocking, you're doing something wrong. Oh my God, this is so cute. It's giving kind of jelly pack vibes. It's like a little Christmas tree. And it's sick. Oh my God, no, it doesn't. Oh no, you're joking me. Talking and dancing repeats what you say. How does that work? It's like a parrot. No way. Look, this is it sitting here, which looks so flipping cute just as a decoration, but... Oh, it doesn't have batteries in. I was going to test it out. I don't get how that works, but that is genius. How much is that? £14, but it talks and dances and repeats what you say. It's worth every single penny. We are now going upstairs to look at pyjamas, accessories, homeware and shoes. And I'm really hoping to find some cute Christmas pyjamas. This is so cute. I absolutely love it. It's £27, which is very expensive, but it's one of these like um, snuddy things, but it's reversible. So on one side, it's Sully and on one side, it's Mike. And I absolutely love that. Like, I think that's amazing. It's hideous with all the colours, but I also absolutely love it because I love Monsters, Inc. And the fact it's reversible gets a 10 out of 10 from me. I found some Christmas pyjamas, but I'm not loving them. They are so soft. Like, the material is lovely, but I'm just not really feeling the design on them. It's kind of like a ski snow seam which is kind of cute oh, actually they're only 11 pound but i'm not really feeling it like the material is lovely but i'm not feeling the pattern i do quite like these ones though they're so soft as well but they're like not fluffy soft they're just like soft soft i don't even know how to explain it and they've got little bears and penguins on and then the top is just like this red ribbon one. it kind of looks like this but it's come out of the packaging and these ones are 14 pound but they are honestly like the softest thing they're so cute they also have this one as well which is like white with little Christmas trees and stuff on the bottoms. These ones are so cute as well. They're like little fluffy ones. I saw these before and I absolutely love them. They're like a little reindeer with tartan. And then these are like a fluffy red top. Then we're just like plain, really soft, but like not super fluffy tartan bottoms. And they also have these ones, which are like ho, 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 pink mud on the top. And then the bottoms are just like a pink. This, like the top's more fluffy than the bottoms, but I quite like that. And then these are quite different. They're navy, but they've got like little Christmas lights on the bottom, which I feel like it's quite a nice, like slightly different take on Christmas. Christmas pyjamas. These ones aren't Christmassy, but I do love them. Short sleeved cuffed leg PJ set for eight pound. And I keep seeing people on TikTok say like, these are Harry Styles pyjamas because they've got little red love hearts on the bottom. That would be just like a nice little stocking stuffer for someone. If you don't want to get them Christmas pyjamas, these are more like versatile all year round. And I love the little hearts on the bottom. I found these in the pyjama section. They're like a little red satin top and shorts like how cute for like christmas day pajamas they're 15 pound and they're like a little satin set and then i've also found these which are so cute this little like bralette and then the matching shorts i'll insert a clip of them in here as to what they look like on the model they also have like a bodysuit with like, a really nice open back detail which i was quite tempted by but i've always seen these little like top and short sets in primark and i've loved them but i've never found a color that i like but i feel like the red for christmas and also would work for like Valentine's Day and stuff is a really nice colour and the top is £7 and the shorts are 6 Oh hello Primark with these snakeskin boots I'm not normally a fan of snakeskin boots but then I saw someone on TikTok wearing them with like a snakeskin skirt and a white shirt and it looked so nice so for like Christmas drinks or just like any sort of like dinner and drinks or something in the evening style the right way I feel like these could look so nice they're £26 they're not too high of a heel and they're actually like a really nice shade of snakeskin as well I actually quite like them which I'm quite surprised by these I literally love the grey um, plush line leggings from Primark. I always had the black ones, but if anyone is looking for leggings to match the yoga hoodie from Sisters and Seekers, these leggings are such a good colour match and they're also fur lined, so they're just like the perfect leggings to wear of that hoodie. They have so many colours in these fur lined leggings now, like they've got grey and like a different colour shade of grey there as well in the red ones, but I have the black and the grey, like the light grey, and they are so good for dog walks. Like they are so comfy and thick, they're not see through and they're so warm, and they are 
only six pound which isn't too bad and i absolutely love these if you don't have a pair of these in your wardrobe already you need to get some because i literally love them i honestly swear by these these look so nice for a nice winter dog walk two pairs of thermal socks with wool they go they kind of bunch up a bit but the colors i love that brown and the cream are such nice colors and they're only five pound which isn't too bad but they are ever so slightly itchy because of the wool in them so i do worry that like after wearing them for a while they might get a little bit uncomfortable but they're so thick and the wool in them would make them really warm oh my god so random but i never knew that primark did yoga socks how good is that if anyone's looking for some they have a sparkly pair and a black pair it's like a two-pack and they're four pound they've got little grippy bits on i never knew primark did yoga socks all the sparkles and all the glitter is coming out in primark now in their accessories they've got all the heels the little bags they've got belts they've also got these which i don't really know what they are you can wear it as like a belt a scarf a head thing it's giving me year six disco kind of vibes but if you're in the market for something sparkly for the festive season primark apparently is a place to come because they literally have so many sparkly things like it is literally glitter galore example b we have sparkly clutches so literally anything like a little bag with a sparkly handle sparkly clutches a bag with a sparkly bow this sparkly bag they're literally everywhere i think these are a new colorway of the ugg dupes in primark i don't think i've ever seen this color before like a really nice light beige i feel like that's a very versatile color it would work with a lot i already have a pair of these in a different color and they're not like the best made ugg dupe they're a little bit like thin and flimsy feeling but for only seven pound for just like little shopping trips out where you're not doing too much walking they are quite a good alternative because they do have loads of colors as well like they've got a pink and like a khaki brown i'm not really a pink clothing girl but this scarf is so nice it's seven pound it's kind of like two-tone like lighter pink on one side and darker pink on the other it is such a nice thick like blanket scarf and the color of that is absolutely stunning you can also get like a little pink beanie but this scarf i'm obsessed with this is a kind of fluffy hat vibe i was thinking with that coat i showed you earlier like one of these little fluffy bucket hats because i feel like they're quite popular at the moment i'm seeing them in quite a lot of places i already ha actually have that one from primark it was only seven pound i don't know if it's gonna be the right color match i think it's a little bit too light for that coat but something like this i think would work really well i hello primark with the ski stuff can't believe primark sells ski gloves i can't see any other other than those mittens i can't see other, any other ski wear but ski stuff is so expensive and also so a ski holiday so if anyone's going skiing for the first time and they're buying all their ski stuff actually i'm not gonna i was gonna recommend these because they're so cheap but actually i don't know if they're any good but i think they're like I don't know if they're a brand within Primark, this like three um, thin shallot, but they're £6.50 and I just feel like skiing is so expensive. They also have um, little headbands and stuff down here, but if you can save money on just like little things like gloves, that's quite handy. These are so cute for little stocking stuff where they've got ice lolly socks and little pizza socks and these kind of things are normally so expensive. I've seen them before, like sushi ones and stuff, and I feel like they're a really good idea, but they're so expensive, whereas these are only £2.50, which I mean, for one pair of socks is expensive, but it's the whole novelty packaging aspect. And for stocking stuff, I think that's really cute. And now for Primark Home, but do not hold your breaths because my Primark Home section is not the best, especially not Christmas stuff, but this is kind of cute, like a little light up Christmas tree. I'm just gonna kind of pan you around I think because like I said there's not loads in my Primark home it's so bad so I'm just going to kind of show you around however I actually think this is so cute even though I'm a neutral girly I just love something about this stocking I don't know if it's the fact that it says holly jolly or the little pom-poms on it or what it is but it's five pounds and I think it's flipping adorable see do you see what I mean like this is basically the extent of the home section the, the Christmas section in my Primark home this is kind of cute don't love the pink but it's got like a little Christmas pudding on it for 12 pound and then that is just normal stuff like that is literally it for my Primark home section like Christmas stuff so feel sorry for me okay that is literally all I can show you because the rest is all just like random candles and shrubbery and random things like that but yes that is now it for this watching in Primark I hope you enjoyed it if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already I might buy a few things there's a couple other things I'm going to go back for but these things they only have like one size left so I just picked them up I got this cute little navy beanie because I'm loving navy at the moment but the rest of the stuff I'm going to get I think I will film a Primark haul so make sure you subscribe down below so don't miss out on that because a Primark haul will be coming soon thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in another video bye